All right, so I just woke up. I packed childcare yesterday and my shotgun because we're heading out hunting. Me and Storm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See so yeah, we're excited. We're heading out. You see hi? <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit. finished now packing and now we're heading out storm is watching me <laughs> okay. right we're just held up at a ferry right now we should be on the island in like 25 minutes we're gonna link up with Gulick and uh, get his uh, Get his dog, Elfie, who we're going to borrow. So we're finally here. Uh, I picked up Elfie. Hopefully, she will find us a bird. And uh, Storm, he's just in here eating a bun. Hello. Say hello. hello. <laughs> uh, luckily, the weather seems to be fine so far. It was supposed to rain a lot, but it hasn't done that yet. So I'm just packing everything now, just we're ready. Um, Bought Storm some new pelter herring uh, protection, so hopefully he will like them better than the old ones. He's been playing around with it all yesterday, so yeah, I'm just gonna get to it, pack and get up. I'm probably not gonna use the, this camera too much, just when we stop and talk and all that. Um, I do have my action cam and I do have my shot cam, so hopefully catch something on there. Right now I need to focus on, <laughs> Storm is waving at me. <laughs> we need to focus on getting him dressed and then we're gonna get up because we're uh, kind of late. Clock is almost, yeah, it's uh, almost 11 now. So we should get going. All right, so we had a little issue. Um, we we're almost ready. I dressed up Storm completely. He's knocked out now, of course, which was my hope that he would fall asleep when we were hiking up to the terrain so he fell asleep now because um, as we were getting almost we were almost ready to go uh, just dress him up and everything was packed uh, another hunter came with two dogs and he just ran up before us and he's probably going straight to all the good places so I don't see no point for us to go up there and I called my friend and he gave me a tip so it's gonna be quite a short hunt maybe two hours instead of five hours but we're quite late now I need to get him over to the child carrier without trying to wake him up. Um, so hopefully that works and then uh, yeah, we're gonna just head off and, and do some hunting now. Hopefully no one else hunts here.
Oh. All right. So, oh, I made a mess of my equipment, so it took some time, but we're finally ready. He's gonna fall asleep again in like a second, so. Man, it's the end of it. All right, so we have just had a chocolate break, as you probably can tell, by all the chocolate here. <laughs> so um, yeah, we had to find a new place to hunt and we were trying it. We haven't found any birds yet, but it's uh, really nice here actually. So, I mean, we should find some. Elfie had one uh, point where there was no birds, so I just don't want to be a part of it. Oh, you're calling your hands. Huh. Oh, ah, so yeah, I think we're just gonna get to it. It's not up. We haven't walked for that long, to be honest. Uh, but it's just about you know it's storm now. You can see where the mountain goes down over there. That's kind of where I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna go a bit lower in terrain. Hopefully, find some birds there. So. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're gonna head now and see if we can find some birds. There should be some birds here, I believe. Oh, well, I got tipped off, so now you're looking good, huh? Bra Elfie! Ha! Bra Elfie! Alright, that's awesome man. Great work of Elfie. There was two black grass that flew up and um, shortly after when we were done picking up another one flew up from the same place. It's not unusual, but uh, yeah, a nice black grouse. And it's a young one. You can see it's still got a bit brownish color in the feather and most likely, uh, see if I can find a way to do it here. No, the, Normally the third feather should be shorter, but it's not. Huh. We could test the beak as well, but I'm gonna wait with that. So yeah, what do you think, Storm? Beep, beep, beep. Huh? Sit down. Sit. Beep, beep. <laughs> I'm feeling. Yeah, his first reaction was just to laugh and smile. And uh, I did film it on my action cam and shot cam. Um, best part was that he lost his chocolate and he didn't care about me shooting twice with the shotgun. He just was yelling for his chocolate and we found it. So he's, he's having a blast now. So, and so am I. This is... Uh, <laughs> Always awesome when we succeed together. Finally get out. Finally get out. Is that hot? All right. So she's been working on some some more birds further down. Um, so we'll see. I'm gonna relax a little bit, try to call her in and calm down before we move over towards the car because that's kind of where we're headed. Uh, but it's just so nice to see that he doesn't care about uh, the noise from my shotgun. We do have, yeah, he's playing with it now, the pelt or for kids and they're, they're working well. So um, yeah, this, this is just awesome man. I kind of started to lose hope when we went over on the top because we didn't see any birds and when we finally saw some 
<laughs> when we finally saw some, um, they flew up at 60 meters and uh, it happened twice. Um, but yeah, so far we've seen nine grouse, black grouse, and uh, all of them are uh, male. So um, Elf is still running up here. Just got to keep an eye out in case she finds more. She's coming down now. But she did a great job. Yeah, Elfi, come on. Elfi, is that? Elfi. Come on. Yeah. All right, guys. So, she's gonna make it quick because he's heavy. I'm tired. I think also Elfi's getting tired. Um, we shot two birds for Elfi now, two black grouse. And uh, have I shown you yet already? I'm, I'm actually a bit uncertain if I filmed it or not. I did shoot a black grouse further down. Uh, Elfi did a great job finding it. I have it on my action cam. Här fick vi jag med en till så. Ja. Bra Elfi. Oh. Bra Elfi. Pappa. Ja. Hey, Hej pappa bra. Ja. Bra Elfi. Du pappa är klar för jag tror kanske Det går bra. Det går bra så. Ja. Ja. Nej, det går bra. And uh, uh, it's a young, young black grouse. And then I was on the phone with Charlie, and actually by accident I had the action cam on, so I filmed that as well. I was on the phone with her, and a bird suddenly just comes cruising down towards us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's eat some. Come on, let's eat some more first. Bra, Elfi! Bra! Åh, oh, nej, jag har någon höna. Jag såg jag helt fel. Tack! 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 Ja, du är försiktig. Ja! Tack, tack! Ja! Det var ju meningen då. Så, var den fin eller? Hä? Aj, aj, aj. I was pretty sure it was a young, young male black grouse, but uh, it turned out to be a hen. I tried to avoid shooting them. Uh, usually I let them just pass, because I mean, they're the ones laying the eggs. So if you want more birds, you leave them alone. So uh, yeah, we shot three birds, two for LFM, one just by chance. So the storm is getting tired. I'm getting tired, so we're actually it's just behind that small hilltop. Oh, where's my finger now? Uh, okay, this was difficult now. <laughs> A hilltop there. That's where uh, that's where our car is parked behind. So I'm quite happy. Three birds, uh, and I needed a couple of them because Charlie wanted. A black grouse stew for her birthday party. Now I have enough. Ah, oh, there's the road. I think I'm going to just hit the road and then, then walk up. See you, Bruno. And then, 
Right in. Me. No, the shotgun is mine. He's pulling the, the shotgun. It's not loaded, by the way. I'm taking it all out. We're finished hunting now, so. I have to find Elfie and then we head up to the car. All right, I think that's it for today. I might show you all the birds a bit later because, oh fuck. It says that she's pointing out, pointing a bird now. I won't. Question is where and if I should. 30 meters up. Okay, here she comes. Probably just looking for us this time. Come on, right. All right, well, I think we're just gonna head to the car. And I'll focus on walking now because it's a tough terrain to walk in. Right, so we're back at the car. Um, I think Storm yeah. only gets in. <laughs> He's uh, tired. Yeah. He's been doing great though. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Here is, uh, here's the gray hen I yeah. shot. It's a beautiful one. And uh, of course, someone's calling me right now. All right, guys, so it's a little bit messy. Uh, here's the gray hen I shot, or black grouse hen. It's uh, quite beautiful. This is the last one I shot, and then we have second, second black grouse. He lost some feathers. Elfie really got a hold of him. So, and then we have the first one. So yeah, I'd say that all in all, it's been quite a good day. Fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I might uh, see me next time out hunting red deer again. Doing a night hunt tomorrow and then we're going for a stalk on Friday. Oh, he's hushing me. I have to be quiet. Yeah, I think he's uh, tired, so I'm just gonna end it here. See you soon. All right, so we have red deer on the field now. There's two red deer. Um, it's a hind and most likely a calf, but it's difficult to tell. I need him to get a bit closer so I can just uh, see the size difference. This most likely calf, so you might hear a shot quite soon. Just stay, stay, uh, stay tuned. right now so she can find the calf we shot it didn't go long so it shouldn't be difficult <sighs> finally yeah. Now it's just to walk past the cabin. She's not on trail yet. We're going to put her on the first trail because the red there didn't go that far. And then uh, she will trail on the first trail. Those are a shot, and it's probably like 10 meters of blood. And then 
gotta find find the red deer. She knows something's up, so. Okay, now she can take a trip. Oh yeah. We're finished with the animal. We gutted it. Uh, my father-in-law is going to get his uh, car, and we're just gonna get it in and get it home. We had two reindeer just coming in, a calf and a hind, and I do have a spare tie on a calf this season, so I'm quite happy with the result. Shot placement's good. Um, it didn't long, um, so yeah. But we are now finished. So we're just gonna get in the car and get home. Kira is not happy because she has to stay over there while the deer is right here. So yeah. I don't know if there's much more to say. Just gotta end it there for now. Um, as I say, it's been a successful week. 